I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. This is James Mathers at NAB 2019 for the Digital Cinema Society and Studio Daily. I'm here at the Block Battery booth and Greg Prentice is going to tell us about uh, some of their new products. But first, tell us a little bit about Block Battery for those who might not be familiar. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, Block Battery, um, you know, we make a range of different batteries uh, for both uh, cinematic uh, cameras and, and lighting applications as well as video production. Uh, we've been in the industry for, you know, a number of years. You may have not, uh, you know, uh, known us in all the applications, but we're, you know, we're behind the scenes. Um, we have, uh, you know, a range of 10 different blocks um, that we've made for different sizes, capacities, and feature sets, some oriented more towards the, the camera side, some more oriented more towards the lighting side. In the last few years, we've been trying to address some of the more challenging power requirements with LED lighting. There's a whole range of new LED lights and more and more coming on the market with uh, greater power requirements, uh, more challenging uh, requirements also coming uh, with, with respect to the voltages that have to be addressed. Such as the sky panel. Such as the sky panel. The sky panel is a perfect example. The sky panel, not everyone uh, you know realizes, but the sky panel, the sky panel can be powered by either a 20 volt, 28 volts, or it can be powered by 48 volts. If you're powering it by 28 volts, you're going to have a you know a certain range of, of, of output capacity up to 50 percent. But if you want to get the full 100 percent output range of the sky panel, you really need 48 volts. And so we've been working on several solutions, and our latest one that we've introduced uh, this year is called the HCL 435. And that's one thing I wanted to show you and go through the details on this thing. Please. Okay. So I've got an HCL 435 here ready. Okay. Um, as you can see, we've got the top open. The reason we have the top open is because it's a cartridge-based system. It's lithium iron phosphate, and there's a lot of advantages to lithium iron phosphate uh, when compared to lithium ion and nickel metal hydride uh, when it comes to performance. Okay, but uh, because there's lithium ion, there are challenging shipping uh, requirements with that, so that's why it's cartridge-based, because each cartridge is below 100 watt hours, therefore it makes it much easier to ship and transport. Okay, uh, The HCL435 is designed, it's a nominal 26 volt battery, and so it has a 26 volt output, so in addition being able to power the sky panel, which we're going to show you, it also can power a range of other lights that are between 24 or 28 volts because it's right in the sweet spot there, a 26 volts. So it's a, it's a good solution. In order to power the 48 volts, we have to upconvert. So we take the 26 volts, we upconvert, and that's done internally. In prior years, we've done this where we do it with an external regulator, which is still an option depending upon what customers may have for existing batteries or depending upon how much runtime that they need. Okay, but this one has been designed with the regulator built in right here, and I'm going to show you how we install it. Okay, so we take the, the HCL 435 and we can place it in place of the ballast that's normally on the back of the sky panel. So it fits right there in the shoe, and then we can take cable, power this on, this will connect up into here, hit the switch, and we're ready to go you'll get approximately one hour of, of runtime at full power output with the HCL 40, 4, 435 in that configuration there. For those that want to put it in a different position, we actually have the HCL 4035 and we can mount it on a stand. It's easier to mount down that area. And it is versatile for a range of other lights also in the marketplace. So it's not just for the sky panel. There are more 48 volt uh, lights uh, on the market and continuing to come on the market right now. How about charging? Overnight charge? No, actually the, the, the charge time for this is we can charge this in about a little over two hours. Impressive. Yeah. So um, now we have some other solutions that uh, that I'd like to show you about uh, to show you with uh, respect to the the sky panel. Um, we we can take this one down. Okay. So still on the 48 volt side. If we wanted to put on our 48 volt regulator, our external regulator, this is one that we came out with a year ago, and. So we have our new DIT 1400. This is 1400 watt hours of power. Again, it's a cartridge based system. Each cartridge is below 100 watt hours each, so therefore making it easier to transport. So and we can connect in the DIT 1400. It's going to show us the voltage on, on the meter here in the R48 Mini. And then we can come out, 48 volt input, plug into the sky panel. Now we've got 48 volt full power, okay, for the sky panel. The DIT 1400 will give us uh, approximately three hours of runtime. There's another cartridge based battery. Each cartridge is approximately 87 watt hours and they're and under the 100 watt hour limit, thereby making it easier to ship and transport. 
And one of the other ways that we can power the sky panel is with our new 2F196HC. The 2F196HC is a unique 2F1 battery in that it is designed specifically for high current applications. So, with the sky panel, we've talked about how we were able to power it at 48 volts to achieve the full output you know, power you know, range of the light. But not everyone needs to use the full output range all the time. Sometimes they need just a quicker shot, okay, for a short period. So that's one of the applications that we can address with the 2F196, okay? So the 2F196 actually provide 30 volts output, okay, into the battery input and give us up to 50% of the range. The way we would do this is we take our adapter here. We have an adapter which connects in place There it is, clicks in, put the 2F196 on, clicks on, and then we're going to go into the 4-pin XLR, providing 30 volts of power, and that will give you approximately uh, 20 minutes of runtime. A lot of great options. Thank Thanks. you, Greg. Thanks, Jim.